All right, guys, um, don't have my watch on, not sure what time it is, but I'm still toying the microwave idea around. Um, basically, the stove is like at countertop height, and the microwave would basically take up, you know, I don't want it to go lower than this, but most of them are going to be like up to an inch and a half-ish lower, and then it's going to stick out a little bit further, which isn't that big of a deal, but... I'm trying to like figure out a way to prop the phone up so you guys can see better. The issue is for me, like, here's the cabinets. It's gonna stick out, which I'm not crazy about. It's not a lot, but it's gonna stick out. And then the bottom of the stove, you know, say you got a microwave, like, basically, you know, like this, like those back burners, like, they don't become unusable, but they come like really limited to what you can do. Like, I'm not gonna be able to put, you know, our big tall pot on there. I might, I'm not sure, I'm still measuring, but I'm just, I'm going like this because it's a small downgrade of space when you're talking about like the back of the oven, but at the same time, such a huge upgrade and keeping all that cat, that, uh, that countertop space open, because as you guys have saw, we're not working with a lot of space in here, so... I'll let you guys know here in a second what I decide about the microwave. If I can find a good deal on one, like one that was on a crazy sale or something like that. And that's the thing too. Shelby's like, well, why don't we buy a used one? The issue is like, they come with a template that you literally, it's a sheet of paper. You tack it to the wall so you know where to drill the holes. And then it comes with these brackets that have to be mounted a certain way. And then it screws into the top of the cabinets, you know, a certain way. And... The issue is, like, I don't used. Nobody's going to have that stuff still. I don't want to freehand that. Um, actually, you know what? Now that I'm thinking of it. This would have to be moved down, I think. Because unless the microwave was literally flush with this cabinet bottom. Oh. Well, that might have just answered that question. I don't think this will be too hard to move, but I also don't want to cut into the wall and I don't have to. I don't know. <sighs> up a microwave super random um so last night i was sitting there you know i was measuring the stuff out i was kind of like the biggest thing holding us back obviously was like money you know because that's a couple hundred bucks and we have a working microwave it was just kind of like a it would be awesome to upgrade it while we're redoing the kitchen type of thing but um so like I was just, you know, obviously doing all the measuring and you know, like would it be too low? Like would it, you know, this and that and this and that. And uh, I was like, you know what? Worst case scenario, you know, I can hold it up where it's gonna be and decide right then and there, like, okay, do we like this size or not? You know, is it too big? Is it too small? Is it too high? Is it too low? You know, is it too close to our oven? You know, because like all the code requirements, it meets. It's it's high enough from the oven. It's high enough off the floor, stuff like that. So it's just literally like a personal preference type thing. But um, it just would free up a ton of counter space for us, and we only have a small bit. So that's why you know we're really toying the idea around. But um, we had looked at this one back when I had originally like you know this would be a perfect time to hang a microwave. Uh, this one was I think normally like. 280 or something like that like almost 300 bucks just under 300 but it was on sale at menards and lowe's for lowe's it was on sale for like 190 or something like that and then at menards it was on sale for like 150 or 149 
and that was for the black and stainless steel and i really like that one but we don't have any other stainless steel in our in our kitchen so i was like i don't know so i asked shelby i was like what would you you know out of the two like which one did you pick she was like all oh, black for sure and i was like yeah, okay fair enough so i clicked the black one the black one's twenty dollars more on sale like what you know that was i thought that was kind of dumb but you know hey it is what it is holy shit this thing is huge so we've got our microwave and toaster oven over here just you know because there's an outlet right here by the door just for the rare times we want to use it we can use it real quick and i just unboxed this thing this is our normal microwave this is the new one holy shit it is like three of these like the video doesn't even do it justice like it's wider it's taller it's deeper holy crap and here i am worried like well it's gonna be above the stove we're probably not gonna have as much room on the inside uh yeah yeah we are so i'm gonna comes with like all the accessories like this is the bottom piece is what it like mounts to on the back and then there's like you know depending on what filter you use like if you have an outdoor vent or just vent it inside the little spinny plate thingy so i'm going to go probably regrettably hold it up where it's gonna be just to get an idea on size because i don't want to completely take everything apart if it's gonna be way too big dude this thing is huge so like obviously you know it's gonna be a little bit bigger because it's got like a fan built in and you know like the under lighting for the stove and stuff like that but like we had our microwave basically in this spot but over here but you can see you know the cabinets are essentially the same it's just you know longer this doesn't like we had stuff on top of the old one like we had our drink mixes we had you know our paper plates and a pot holder and stuff like that like this one is basically as tall as underneath the cabinets and it is massive but then you open it up i could crawl in here and then when you uh can't see the light obviously but like the fan that thing blows out it's got two different settings lights got you know like high medium and off or whatever so this thing's sweet i'm just having it plugged into the wall here but man i am excited to get back home now and hook this thing up so i'm pretty sure that this is gonna have to go down um i would actually like to move it over but i'm gonna see because i'm gonna have to do some half-ass patchwork because it's all gonna be the beautiful thing is this is all gonna be covered with the backsplash um another cool thing is i was really concerned and like how high do we go with the backsplash because this was the stove i was like do we just match the line coming from the cabinets or do we come over from the cabinets and then go all the way up to the hood range you know because the range or the the oven hood or whatever you know the exhaust thing was like up here so i was like do we come over and go up to that and then do we stop or do we go all the way to the wall so this makes that really easy because this is actually going to stick down a little bit so i'm just going to continue it all the way over and then that way like i won't have to worry about cutting any off the top or anything so that's cool that'll save me a little bit of work there but um yeah so kind of curious on how this mounts i think it screws into this but this piece of wood here is really thin and it's like just caulked in so that's not gonna work i'm gonna have to get some kind of probably like i don't know wood to match this that's thicker that I can like screw into this and then, you know, I don't know. We'll figure it out. That time will come. We will cross that bridge when we get to it. And I was at Menards, completely forgot to get the outlet and box stuff. So good job there. I did get spackle to fill these in. Cause I'm not going to like sand them down and stuff, but I'm going to fill them in because some of it is low and I don't want like, you know, if we put a plate here or something like that and then bump into it, I don't want it to like push the tile in or something like that and make it look weird. I don't think that would even happen, but, you know, just in case. Um, I think that's about it. I'm going to go get a coat of paint on there, and then I'm going to 
buzz down to my uncle's and uh, then get back and work on this. Actually, when I leave his house, um, I'll be on Telegraph so I can stop at Lowe's and grab like an outlet and a box. I'll probably grab a new one of these just so I don't have to reuse it. Um, I see, I don't even know how this one's mounted and I don't want to cut into this drywall if I don't have to, but because it's not in there that tight. Like you can see, I don't know if you guys can actually see it, but it like moves around. And I'm so glad to be covering. They did such, they did a terrible, terrible job drywalling in this kitchen. Like this wall, you can see like, it just looks like there was terrible paint on here that peeled and they just painted over it. You can see like some of the screws or nails, whatever they used. Um, it's just textures bad. So really glad to be covering this up. And this wiring, I don't know. Yeah. All right. I'll see you guys here in a little bit. Well, for a second for you, but a couple hours for me. All right, guys, new day. Um, it is Sunday, my day off. I feel like crap. I have a headache. I slept terrible. Typical day off for me, it seems like. So last night, I got the spackle out, and I filled in most of these holes. Did a terrible quick job, but I got to sand them down anyways, a little bit to make them smooth. So I got that done. It only literally took a few minutes. Um, but this, I've been working on this. I don't know what the hell is going on with this wall. So this, you know, was attached right here. And there's, of course, more things that are holding it. But I was like, okay, cool. There's plenty of room right here where I can just cut this out and just, you know, put it over here. I'll have to drill a hole through the stud and, you know, put the wires through it. But no big deal, right? No, there's three studs in a row right here. I don't understand it at all. So clearly not going to be able to put it there. So I was like, all right, I'll just drop it down because the top of the stove is like... I don't remember. I, I measured it yesterday, but it's like somewhere right here. And the bottom of the microwave is going to be like right here. So I was like, I'll just drop it down. It is what it is. Um, it's just, we don't really use this plug too much except for like when we vacuum. And you know, this is just the utility room and the kitchen lights. So I was like, cool, I'll just drop it down. And then couldn't get this off. So I had to like pretty much break it. So I'm going to have to get a new box. No big deal. They're only literally a couple bucks. But, um, so I was kind of frustrated when I was working on that, though, and then trying to figure this out, like, to mount the microwave, there's, like, a, a screw that goes here and here, and I'm like, this is just, like, a thin, you know, little board, like, just held in, like, a groove and some caulk. I'm like, is that really going to support this? But I found out, like, the majority of it is held by the bracket that goes right here which is this piece. So this is gonna go, you know, like this or whatever. And this holds like 90% of the weight and then these two front bolts that go up here and here, which screw in right there and right there. Those just kind of like, I I don't know, like I guess, I, I read online, I forget the terminology they use, but those just kind of hold the front of the microwave up where all the weight is being supported in the back. So this is perfectly okay. Cause I was like, man, I'm gonna have to get like some wood, you know, something that I can like screw into this solid piece of wood in the wall or something like that to be able to support the weight. And I'm like, I am not drilling through these freshly painted cabinets, you know, on the front to get a screw, you know, through here or whatever. But, uh, everyone online said this is perfectly okay. So Thank God for that. And then I drilled the one hole wherever for the power cord to go through. And like I said yesterday, I was at Menards to pick the microwave up. Completely forgot to buy the outlet and stuff. So anyway, I got to go to Lowe's anyways to get, you know, the project box. And then, um, you know, probably grab some new switches and stuff because these are kind of old and dirty anyways. But yeah, so that is the plan today. It is crappy outside it is raining and i'm basically kind of waiting for the rain to stop to bring the cabinet doors in because i'm not going to carry them through the rain because if that water got onto like the cracks you know like where the doors are or something like that it could seep under the wood and make the wood expand and then it cracks and expands and blows up and looks horrible so i literally refuse <laughs> refuse to bring them in if it's raining but i do want to get them hung back up today because that is like big progress. 
I actually think I'm going to do the tops and not the bottoms because I'm going to be painting the countertops, which actually hopefully I can get the countertop. So the goal today, get the microwave installed, get the switches done, the outlet done, and get the countertops. Hopefully I can get that done today. If not, I at least want to get like the base coat on because that's like basically the big thing from preventing us from like putting the kitchen back together is the countertops now so we've got everything painted but now we got to paint the countertops and i got to pour that resin and once that stuff's done i can drop the sink in hook that up um then i'll put you know the bottom stuff back on because the resin if anything drips i would rather have to redo just you know like a small part of the counter that you won't see versus all the doors that i work so hard on so I'm going to put the top ones on today, but not the bottoms. All right, guys, let's get to work. So, got a lot done, as you can probably see from the time lapse. So, got the outlet mounted. Um, if I could go back, I wish I would have got an old construction box, which I would have just basically cut out a square, and then this would have been flush, but it's no big deal. You know, it's literally never going to see it. That's just me being OCD. But anyways, I got the um, old construction box here. I got it mounted pretty good. Um, actually looks like it's a hair crooked, so I'm straightening that back out. I got this mounted. I don't have it like mounted mounted, but I have it mounted, um, just to kind of see fitment and everything. I have the old box right here still because obviously it's too dark with the lights off. It's super crappy outside, so it's dark. going to turn the power off and shove those wires through here to get that going, and then I can run this wire which goes down to that outlet right there and you guys this looks so good oh hold on hold on hold on that's all my spare wire from when i wired up the garage and uh one of the deck videos when i had put the shovel in the ground and then the garage cut out I had to rewire the garage so had a bunch of extra wire left over but check this out I knew there was gonna be a difference. Like I knew it was gonna look amazing. Like even if I didn't do that great of a job and I knew it was gonna kind of like revive the kitchen and give it a new look, but like words can't explain how much better it looks. Like it is insane. 
and that finish is perfect. There's just, there's like a hint of gloss, but it's not like matte. And it's, it's so vibrant. Like I cannot wait to get everything else done. Cause like right now, like it's almost, when you're looking back here, you know, you see like the dark area where the fridge is going to be, but like, you're not going to see that really, you know, the fridge is going to be there. But like right now with the bright white lights or the white ceiling, you know, the white cabinets and stuff like that, it's really bright. So once we get this countertop done and that's black, I think it's going to look so dang good. And I am so excited, but so anxious to get this stupid microwave hooked up here. <laughs> I don't regret getting it. But I'm just like, oh my god, this is so much more work than I anticipated. Because, like, you got to drill these little holes out and they got to be, like, super, you know, lined up with this. So, like, I just feel like I can never measure things right. So, I feel like they're not going to be lined up. But, um, luckily, there is, like, some big washers. So, there's some wiggle room. I can, you know, elongate the hole if I need to. Um, I really want to just throw the microwave up there and get it mounted. But then that really, like that limits my space to work right here like i'm gonna have to be down here wiring all this stuff up so i definitely don't want to do that yet but while we do have some light here i'm gonna cut the power and get these new switches wired up because um i'm gonna have to use my phone as a flashlight so i won't be able to be recording um i guess i could but it would just be a really crappy zoomed up angle so i'm not gonna do that but i'm gonna get that knocked out right now so i will see you guys here in a minute so it's been about an hour um I've got the outlet mounted and hooked up. The wire goes to this outlet, which this house needs to be gutted and completely rewired. So this outlet had three sets of wires connected to it. There should only be two maximum, like, you know, coming in and then, you know, you can branch off to another outlet. So this wire right here that you can see, I'm not going to get closer to it because I'm leaning over here, but that wire you can see goes to nothing. I cannot find it. It was actually, it was hooked up to nothing. Um, it was just like shoved into the box. So I trimmed it shorter. It's out of the way. Two new light switches in, um, the new outlet in. So basically like what it was before was this outlet was fed by this outlet. So this outlet had one going in and then going to this outlet. And then the, uh, the third one was going from this outlet up for the the range hood thing or whatever the exhaust so what i did was hook the one input and then on the other set of screws go to this one and then on the other set of screws on this one i go up to this outlet so that's done much better much cleaner much nicer because they had so many wires shoved in there too um i swear like one day I will rip every piece of drywall off in this house and completely redo the electrical. But anyways, so that's done. Um, switches work, outlets work. Um, now it is time to get the bracket actually on this thing down here and then get this microwave mounted. So. My bad, you guys. Um, my phone's dying, so I've got it plugged in here. Um, I had everything set up. I had my music playing. Never hit record. <laughs> it actually was really simple. Um, I just like, it's mind blowing to me that this thing actually like is being supported by that little thing, which I guess like the blunt of the weight is like being pivoted on that back piece. So it makes sense, but. Pretty cool. I'm proud of myself for actually getting this thing hung up. Like it's, it didn't, when I, when I looked it up on how to do it, I was like, oh, that's simple. And then when everything was here and I seen the sheer size of this thing, like 
I'm a big guy and like this thing is, you know, huge. It's wider than my arm. So when I saw the sheer size of it, I'm like. And yeah, I mean, it would have been, I guess, a little bit beneficial to have a second person, but at the same time, not really, because there's, I feel like they would just get in, I feel like they would just get in the way while you're trying to like shimmy it to where it needs to be. But um, yeah, so I am gonna go ahead and put these two doors on and these two doors and might call it a night. I don't know, I would like to get this counter started, but I've been working on this all day. Like literally this is the longest I've ever worked in here. So might call it a night for the night.